Hey guys, it is Matt from Armstrong Gaming here. We are back with another episode of Awesome Knots. Uh, this series has sort of been floating around a little bit. Um, I'm going to be doing a one episode per character. So here we are. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. It's going to be a 20 part series, which is nice and good number. Uh, I've already done two. I've shown you guys Voltar, the healing Awesome Knot. And also, one of my favorites, Scoop the Loop. He's pretty sweet. Um, today, I'm going to be showing you Alia. I like her. She is a real... I, I, on the lower uh, difficulty, she can get a ridiculous amount of kills. Please, would you buy some destruction from me? <sighs> She's... Alright, oh, that's, that's still very loud. Uh, so, just... I'm killing the in-game sound. So that way you, all you've got is a little bit of me talking. Uh, notice from some of the other videos, uh, everything was very loud and it was very difficult to hear me. And I've seen that being a few cases along with some other fellow gamers that they've got this issue as well. Uh, so I managed to get up in levels. I'm able to buy a piggy bank now, which for zero solar gives you 130 solar, which is fantastic because you, with her you buy rage and you then buy this one once and that's enough. So she skips, she's this little girl, she's got this chain around her neck, um, that is just fantastic for, that's how she deals damage, she swings it, it's like a ponytail sort of scenario. And this is her ability Rage, which leeches health off enemies, deals damage to yourself, and also does, um, so it heals you, does damage to the opponent, and hurts you as well. Um... I like this level because it funnels all your enemies into one low area, which is usually is up here, but that's really gravity. So there's no way for the enemies to really run away to. So you can sort of just plug them in the where you need them and get the kills that you want. Uh, I'm just going to help out the droids. And there we go. This is going to be pretty boring gameplay just because of her ability. It's just used the same one over and over again. Uh, her other one does loop in quite nice, uh, which is Evil Eye, which does damage based on your current health progression. So if your health is currently quite low, a little bit of lag, um, you deal more damage. So the worse off health-wise you are, the more damage you deal. And I'm already up to three kills with her. And it literally is just that one Billy where you go, uh, you go Rage, and then you just hug them as best you can. And do as much damage as you can. Alright, so we're going to teleport back. And I'm using the right bumper to do this. And I'm going to buy another point in it. And I'm also going to increase its size. So pretty much... Ooh, a little bit of game lag. Boop. Get that for a little bit of boost speed. Uh, sorry, I'm just downloading the remaining of my Steam games in the background. Which is probably not the smartest idea I've ever had. But, you know... I'm not known. I'm not renowned for being intelligent. Wee. <laughs> so she's a bit of fun. Um, I am a huge fan of her abilities, uh, just because they're so simple and easy to use, and they're very effective. I'm already up to four kills, which I, if I remember correctly, is more than what I got on Voltar. But you know, Voltar can be a little difficult to play. Um, he does have an ability that allows him to do actual damage with his healing um, ability, which is fantastic. And I'm still suffering a little bit of video lag, which is unfortunate because I'm in the middle of this video and I'm not likely to just drop out and go, let me just fix this. Wee. Oomp. So with her, I just keep coming back up to here and spawning more of those type of droids and rolling down here whenever I've got a bit of time getting heals, dropping back in to give yourself the next bits that will boost her, which is obviously health regeneration and more health, uh, along with, I want to say shield, so that way you take less damage, but I'm thinking of putting a lifesteal on my base attack, just so that way it can heal me, rather than me having to go back all the time. So you want to go back whenever you get somewhere between two to 300 solar, because that's usually how much things cost in the shop. Um, and that's just a good way of going back to the shop and getting actually something beneficial from there as well. Because if you go there normally, 
and um, you go back just when your health's low or something like that, then you don't necessarily have enough solar to do something. So you want to sort of prioritize when you do go back to do as much there as you possibly can. Uh, Alright, so some of the little keys to this game. Don't die. Um, that is probably one of the most important things. If you have to run from a fight because you are not doing so well, do it. Um, I, you see I'm on like three quarters of my hit points. I'm fine. I, I've got health regeneration. Um, and you just saw the... Oh shit, drop out of range. Um, just a little bit of video game lag. Yet again. Uh, apologies for that. I'm probably doing a little bit too much. Um, so you can see me, I'm on low hit points. I'm dragging the enemies to my turrets. To let the turrets do the majority of the work. It doesn't matter if I don't get the kill. You get 70 solar when you do do a kill. And I'm going to head back. Little tactic there. You start going back in the midair. You land on that. And you go back at the same time and you reinforce your position. Uh, just a couple of little tricks for this level. Um, I, was saying, I, was saying, I was going back because of health. Um, crap, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> yeah, um, use the environment to your benefit. So, for example, up here, if they're up here, you can stay up there because of the anti-gravity field. Use that to your ability. Some levels have critters on them. Critters you kill for health. It's really good. Um, I'm not going to be able to catch him and keep going down in health, so I'll back off. Uh, I'm going to check up here. Yep, the health's back. Wait. Wait. There's critters up there. Cool, so um, use the environment to your benefit. Use your bots. Um, these three bots on this level, which are just fantastic to have. They do a lot of damage, um, and can easily disrupt the flow of the opposition. Uh, remember to use your healing whenever you've got it. Definitely buy the regenerative healing. I think it's wonderful, um, just because it has the ability to keep you out on the field for longer, which will increase the amount of solar you can gain. Uh, use the turrets to your advantage, use these little bots, so let them take the other bots on while you take on the big guy. I just sort of sweep in every now and then just so that I can get a bit more healing back because of the way my character's abilities work. Um, don't get too close to the turrets. Um, you see me, I'm not really attacking the turrets. I'm up to 11 kills, so that's always a benefit. Um, let the NPCs do a bit of the work as well because they're not really well geared um, to thinking. Especially at this level of difficulty, they're pretty dumb. Um, let them do what they do. Um, yeah, if you like that guy, then uh, where you're, you know, getting down to less than a third of your hit points, it's time to retreat. Um, a lot of times when I'm playing Scoop, I'm retreating and I turn around and throw his ability back at the chasing opponent, just because you want them to feel safe, and then you can get a kill that way. So there is ways of manipulating your environment to get those kills and I'm just helping out the bots. Um, helping out your little bots is probably one of the best ways to get through this game because they are such a meat shield and they put so much damage on to your... I'm gonna do it this way. Do a little trick like I did before. Bam. Got it. Um, they will improve your likelihood of winning uh, which also increases the likelihood that you will Actually, you know what? Let's buy her other ability. Damage plus 20%. That is fantastic. Um, yeah, so use the bots to your best ability. Um, they are your meat shields. They're the guys who are going to keep you alive. And if you can sandwich the opponent and you between the bots, then you've almost got a kill. Uh, you can see me here. I am just massacring bots because they can't attack me because of the way I am set up in the air. Some of them can't attack me. Others can, of course. I, I'm low on hit points here. i just got to drop that ability off. He thinks he's safe. Bam. Got him. Um, that last little bit where they think, yep, I've got this, I've got this, I've got this. And you just chuck on one of your other abilities at them. And if it hits, you can pretty much kill them. Especially if they're in a similar position to you. So there you go. It's up plus 60% now. I'm maxed out 
uh, you can only buy three in any spot so there's six options you can only ever buy three um, so three base abilities plus all the ranks ups if they have them I'm gonna go a little bit harder towards the finishing line now because of the way this level's set up as soon as that first turret comes in you see this big guy here he shoots a rocket which does approximately 400 points of damage which is enough to kill most heroes in three to four hits just gonna be drawing him out using the bots to regen regenerate my health sticking close to him go to the actual health don't let him heal even if it only heals you a little bit and it's more beneficial to him don't let him take it because you're trying to kill him you don't want him to, to gain any health uh, so now we start putting some damage on the turrets because once you get into the base the pretty much the games are over um, and there's enough bots here that you can see are easy to get through ignore him head straight for the base Bom, 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 bom. As soon as they get close, I'm going to hit Rage. There we go, Rage. Because it completely destroys them. And then go back to normal damage. Rage on cooldown. Bam, 480 damage there. Rage, got him. 16 kills. With this girl, in a, in a lengthier game, uh, with more turrets, I usually can get her up to like 30 kills. But for the purposes of video we're going quick games alright so that was Elia she's a really good hero I love her she's fantastic I recommend playing her I'm gonna keep trying to go with these sorts of guides I'm gonna show you the other maps as well there's some heroes that I don't like doing and I'm probably gonna do them when the time has come but we started with three of my favorites uh, we're probably gonna do a couple other ones I don't like next Alright, see you next time guys. This is Matt from Armstrong Gaming. Subscribe, like, share the video. Chuck it up on Facebook. Chuck it up on Twitter. Every little bit helps. Thanks guys. Take care.